Hey, it's Transformers 96 here with another video. This time I'm going to be talking about the Hot Toys Doctor Strange figure. So yeah, so uh, this this was shown a week or two ago. I do apologize that it did take me this long to make a video about it. However, it's definitely so important that it's, uh, even though I'm late, it's still worth making a video of. Um, this was shown at ACGHK 2016. Um, I do like the fact that they do show everything at Comic-Con, and then just a couple weeks later they have another toy event in Hong Kong, and they do save some stuff to show at that event. I do like that, it, because, you know, when you're done with Comic-Con, you're like, oh, there's still a chance that I'll see that thing that I wanted to see at uh, ACGHK, and uh, this is, of course... Um, Doctor Strange, I, I had my fingers crossed he would be at Comic-Con, so when he wasn't at Comic-Con, I was like, well, I have my fingers crossed he'll be at this next event, and as you can see, he is, which is quite nice. I do uh, do like that a lot. Overall, looking like a really nice figure. The the head sculpt, uh, we'll get some closer images of in a second, I'll, I'll talk about that in further detail, but the figure itself does look very ornate, very cool. Uh, the cape looks really nice. I do like the texturing uh, and the detail inside the cape uh, a ton. There's definitely quite a lot of detail there. And as you can see, he does wear pretty baggy clothes as well, uh, which hopefully will mean that his articulation won't be hindered because uh, of how baggy his clothes is, or, or are. And uh, I do like his necklace there. That's the Eye of Agamotto, I want to say. You know, if I'm mispronouncing I do apologize. By the time this movie come out, will come out, I'll be able to pronounce all the Doctor Strange stuff uh, well, but uh, I'm still learning at this point. Um, but overall, I think that the, the figure looks quite good. The base, I do like a lot as well. It kind of, uh, it's, it's, it has his... Um, his, um, his spell kind of pattern at the bottom there and does say Doctor Strange with uh, pinks and yellows and green uh, coloring. Um, I do believe that he's going to come with that backdrop, which I'm a big fan of. I, I love backdrops from Hot Toys. I think they just look great and they enhance the figure a ton. And uh, I have a decent amount of space in my collection room, so I'm able to display them uh, with the backdrops. Uh, so uh, I would personally just love it if every single Hot Toys figure just came with a backdrop. You know, if that's just what you expected. You got a base and a backdrop. I think that it would be perfect. So uh, I would definitely like to see them always come with a backdrop. The only reason I'm questioning if that backdrop is going to be included Included for sure is the fact that there is another toy event that's starting just now. It actually it, it fully starts tomorrow, um, the 13th of August. However, it uh, the pictures from it have come out today, and the Doctor Strange that they have on display there does not have that backdrop, uh, which does worry me that this was just used to display him at this event and won't actually be used uh, or won't actually be included with the figure. However, I still do believe that it will be included. However, I can't say for 100% sure that it definitely is going to be, uh, which is unfortunate. But I. I have my fingers crossed um, for that. I do like his accessory that he comes with a lot. I think that that uh, magic effect does look really good. And then his other hand has a great expression, you know, him casting a spell. I think that looks excellent as well. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if he will have any, like, light-up feature in his hand. Um, because you do see, hopefully we'll get a better shot of it. However, um, you will see that uh, uh, his fingers are, are clear plastic and they're kind of yellowish clear plastic. So hopefully he'll have a light and that would be really cool. I have to say that would be really neat. As you can see, we get a closer look at that head sculpt. Um, I think the Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch likeness is really great. Um, it, it's it's pretty perfect, I would say. You know, uh, There's really not much I can complain about. I think the hair is sculpted really nicely. Um, some of the pictures on display look good, not great. and then But then the official images like of the actual head sculpt that have been uh, worked on, that looks just fantastic. So I am uh, pretty happy about that. They did show a couple of accessories as well. You can see you got the book there. It looks like it has great detail and obviously just a closer image of his spell that he's holding as well as the necklace that he has on on display. Overall though, looking like a fantastic figure. I'm very much looking forward to this guy and I can't wait to see if we do get any more of the figures from his movie. There's obviously uh, more, more go? Something like that. I think Mordo, yeah. Mordo, who's uh, another character in the movie. Uh, it's kind of like a partner to Doctor Strange, somewhat. And then obviously the villain, which his name starts with a K. I, I don't remember. Calculus? Something like that. I don't remember what his name is. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get some more figures from Doctor Strange. However, I won't be surprised if this is our only Doctor Strange figure, similar to what they did with the Ant-Man movie. But overall, very excited for this figure. Thank you, looks great. Hope he comes with that backdrop. And I can't wait to see the official images as well as the price on him. So there you go. That's my review of the Hot Toys Doctor Strange figure. Thanks so much for watching and let me know what you guys think of the figure.